well, I'm a bit nervous when Reggie asked me to speak. I at first I wasn't sure I wanted to speak. I didn't want to well break down. But anyway, this is for the family. I'm Dodo Fernandez. I'm a De La Salle brother. I'm affiliated with uh, La Salle Green Hills and College of Saint Benilde right now. Um, I wish to express my sincere condolence to the family, to Tita Nene, to Cricket and Emil and kids, to Beetle and Lisa, to Trisha and Chui and Bea, to Mosky and the kids, to Gambi and, and the family. I knew Bambi in elementary. I come from class uh, 1981, so he was one year younger. Um, De La Salle Taft Elementary was a small community, so we kind of knew everyone. And I, I, we would see each other, we'd say hi, but especially so in high school. Uh, we weren't very close, but we knew each other and we had a lot of common friends and we sort of respected each other. But we really hooked up in mid 2000 when I saw him in LaSalle Green Hills in an event uh, for his batch. I think it was a pre homecoming event. Uh, he was cooking for his batch. I'm not sure whether it was 82, 83, or 84, but he was there and he was happily cooking for, for them. And we talked and chatted, and, and uh, I realized he was also in Benilde. He was a, uh, a professor at the culinary arts uh, program. And so he invited me to, <clears throat> uh, to his house. At that time, it was summer, so it was Pasinaya. I remember it was a big, it's a big thing in Bel Air. And that started my uh, friendship with the family. Um, and I got invited more and more. Uh, I became very close to the family around that time, 2005 and 2006. Little do the Lichalco family know that at that time I was having a very challenging midlife. And the family became a second family to me. I've never mentioned that. Bambi knew my, the challenges I was going through. And uh, going, to, going to their home, meeting all the siblings, uh, feeling very much welcome. Uh, and they were like my family, you know, uh, uh, gregarious, outgoing, uh, fun. So I feel very much at home. And, and that helped me in, in that very challenging midlife. Um, I would go to their house uh, two or three times a week, have dinner, uh, beer. Sometimes it would go uh, beyond midnight. I remember that time with a lot of fondness. Um, Bambi had a SIGA persona. Uh, everybody knows that. No? Even in, in high school, he was very much feared, uh, even by, the, uh, by my batch. Um, but in getting to know Bambi, I found that at Bambi's core was a very kind-hearted person, uh, almost vulnerable, almost deeply vulnerable. And that's how I remembered Bambi. Uh, we kind of lost touch after about 2007, although we'd message um, every now and then, birthdays, Christmas, uh, New Year. Once in a while, we saw each other. Uh, uh, but uh, I have fond memories of, of those years that I was visiting him and his family. Uh, I, I saw, I came across, I'd like to end by uh, mentioning to you this, uh, quotation that I came across a couple of days ago, soon after I heard about Bambi's passing away. And it reminded me very much of Bambi. It's from Ernest Hemingway. Uh, the best people possess a feeling for beauty, the courage to take risks, the discipline to tell the truth, the capacity for sacrifice. Ironically, these, their virtues also make them vulnerable. They are often wounded and sometimes destroyed. I will always remember Bambi as a kind-hearted man, um, and, and that friendship of, of those years and my, my friendship with the family uh, was deeply healing for me. So thank you very much. And condolences again to the Lichaco family. I hope to visit you one of these days.
uh, good evening. Um, first of all, condolences to uh, Patricia, Choi, and Bea, and the whole Chapa family. Uh, good evening, uh, all guests, relatives, of course, uh, Batch 82. Uh, my name is Noel Lorenzana, I'm from Batch 82. Uh, you know, Bambi and I were not really close in college. We, we sort of caught up uh, later in life. About, about 10 years ago, because I, I live in Ordinetta village. Even though he's in Bel Air, uh, he actually sings in the choir in the, in the village um, village mass in, in the park. You know, and uh, if, if, if you know Bambi from high school, uh, the last thing you would expect for him is to actually be serving in mass and, and singing in the choir. But you know, when, when I saw him, and, and a, few, you know, and a number of times I saw him, you know, I gave him a thumbs up because I saw that he was really into it. You know, um, despite his, his uh, reputation in high school, I saw a very godly uh, person who was really involved in the, in the mass singing. I don't know if his voice is any good, maybe not, but, uh, but nevertheless, his commitment to, to the church choir was really admirable. And I think what, what bonded me and Bambi really was her fatherly um, nature. You know, he used to tell me because since he was singing the mass, my family would attend it. He would tell me that you know he saw my boy grow up you know from a little child to actually a, a man and you know I appreciate the fact that he was actually um, very observant and, and, and you know um, took notice of, of my family and, and my, my son growing up. Um, he was he was telling me how excited he was when when Bea was just coming home from, from school in the U.S. And, and the difficulty that you know was attached to it because it was it was a lockdown and, you know you have to go through so many hoops just to actually go to the airport and pick up a loved one. You know, I, I understand because my kids also study abroad, you know, and, and as much as we are proud of, of what they're doing abroad, you know, we, we miss them and we share the excitement of, of when our kids come home. And I saw that in Bambi. I, I think that strengthened our, our bond as friends because of the fatherly nature um, that we both share. Um, he was excited when Bea was finished her 14 day quarantine. Um, so. To me, um, anybody who's actually uh, has an attachment to his child is actually they, very comes very close to me uh, because I am, you know, I have that nature, and I know, I know the, I know the feeling of kids, you know, studying abroad, the joys of them coming home, and the pride that it goes with it. The, the other thing is, um, you know, every Saturday we go to Salsa the market, and, and you know, um, and it, it just as everybody says, it's the best salpicao anybody would ever taste. And you know, when my wife goes around, I would go straight to No Fat, No Glory and have a chat with Mammy. And that would be our last stop. And, and, and Gina, my wife and I would buy for, for the house and, and uh, for her son. It's his favorite. In fact, when he studies very hard in the week, his reward for Saturday morning is actually uh, uh, the salpicao from No Fat, No Glory. And then, you know, and he's, he'd be very happy, you know. Um, and then, you know, the, the, the chats we have, you know, sometimes I'm surprised that Bambi actually, you know, knows what's happening in my life. He goes, oh, when did you come back? You know, and, and I appreciate it. You know, I appreciate those Saturday mornings. I appreciate the fact that, you know, um, for some reason, my wife, who doesn't really know Bambi, was sad when, when, he, uh, when she learned about uh, his death, uh, which means that, you know, he, I guess in his own nature, um, he, he affects people. Seeing him, you know, doing what he loves, cooking for, for people, um, his, his genuine, you know, the genuine late, um, tone of voice when he, when he converses actually does uh, have an effect on people, even if they're not close to him, as, as such as my wife. She, she told me, you know, I'm sad that your friend Bambi actually passed away. So, um, yeah, it, it's hard to, to imagine now that, you know, our Saturday mornings will not be the same. Uh, because you know that that has been part of our life, and then by the way, on behalf of the Ordinator group, uh, I think Andrew Prieto and, and Fern Peña, um, we'd like to thank Bambi for her services to the to the church and the choir. We really appreciate it. Um, I know for a lot of people serving church, that the pandemic, the lockdown has been very difficult. Because I know you know um, that 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 is a big part missing in, in people who actually do serve in, in the mass and in one of them is Bambi. So again, to the, to the, the Chapo family, Patricia, Chui Bea, I, 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 my deepest condolences. I, I pray for your strength. 
and a great paper, Bambi's. Um, so, interesting piece. Thank you very much. Thank you.